Hello everyone, so due to an unfortunate mistake, I lost a bit of footage for the Oblivion series. It was an audio corruption, so I still have the footage at least, but the actual uh, audio is gone. And luckily it's only three episodes, so it's not that bad, but I'm going to quickly recap them just so that I don't have you guys missing anything. So first, I went to the Imperial City Market to buy a few spells, and from there, I was inducted into the Dark Brotherhood by Lucien Lachance. I then became the Grand Champion of the Arena and defeated Agronecro Malog. I then did some home decorating very wonderfully. I then proceeded to go to Coral, which Coral was completely broken and destroyed by mods and glitches. I don't know what happened. But from there, I ended up going to Chaden Hall, where I joined the Dark Brotherhood. For sure, like full, I'm just in the Dark Brotherhood now. And from there, I went back to the Imperial City, where I met Boris, and he told me there was a spy following him. So I killed him. Baras then told me about the Mythic Dawn com commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes and how he was going to help me get them. So after some investigating, I got the first three volumes, but I couldn't find the third. So Baras then led me to the sewers to find the fourth. Upon leading me to the sewers, we were ambushed by some Mythic Dawn and a large battle ensued. Once they all died, I took the... Volume 4 of the Mythic Dawn Commentaries book, and proceeded to solve a puzzle which led me to uh, Mankar Cameron. But first, I decorated my home a little more. I was then brought to Mankar Cameron by a creepy dark elf who took all my stuff from me, and Mankar Cameron then went on about some speech about paradise and the mortal realm and yada 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 what the fuck ever. And thanks to a naked Argonian, I ended up in quite a large battle that took me about 30 minutes to beat because there were so many fucking enemies. I then returned to Martin with the Mysterium Xarxes, which he yelled at me for returning it back to him, but then apologized very soon after. After that. Joffrey told me about spies from Bruma who were spying on Cloud Ruler Temple, and I needed to go kill them. So, I hope that does it for the recap of what happened in those, like, three episodes. I just bit my tongue really bad. Ow. <laughs> but, this was a hell of a thing to edit. I hope to god I never have to fucking do this thing again. But if I do, I might just die. Anyway, on with the video. Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. So, as you saw from the intro there, unfortunately, I lost a lot of footage, but you didn't miss too, too much. Again, you just missed a few episodes, and I'm starting right from where that left off. Well, kind of. I did talk to Martin one more time after killing those spies, which is, uh, I have this quest marker, but I'm not going to be going to there. I am instead going to be coming down here, I actually need to check the map quickly for where this is, I don't know, for where the thing is. Because I need a Daedric Artifact, and I don't want to give up a Zero Star, because that's a really good one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give up the Wabajack, which is a staff which can turn enemies into... All right, into other kinds of enemies. Hmm. Hold on, trying. I don't even. I don't even know what that is. It's probably a mod. 
but I can either go from Brazil or Deep Scorn Hollow. I think I'm gonna go from Brazil. Uh, let's see. I think. Oh, you know, I also need to pick up some stuff for this too. I need to. Every shrine you go to, you need to have like I, I guess like an offering for them. No, yeah. oh. but uh, ooh, retextured gaze, nice. Uh, the offering for Shio Gorath is slightly more demanding. It's the only one that requires more than one item, but uh, it's a pain in the ass to get all of them. You need a lesser soul gem, which I think I might have one. Oh, I should also probably repair my sword. Uh, sorry, trying to get that lined up. I think I might have a lesser soul gem. I do. Okay, so that's easy. A head of lettuce, which I might be able to get from this inn here, because they usually sell food. And a wad of yarn, which I should be able to get from just a general trader. Silver home on the water has beds and food. What's your pleasure? I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Okay, I don't think you actually have lettuce. Fuck. Alright. Fine. Oh, no. Wrong button. Farewell. Uh, well, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna loot any of your stuff, but I'm gonna search all your stuff just to see if you do have anything. Because if you do have it, then I'll steal it, but... <laughs> Not illegal to look. I'm listening. Please. Huh. Well met. I guess I could kind of look up here. Probably isn't much. I'm still confused because there are some locks where it says like an average lock is too high for me, and then I. Uh, and then I look at, like, some hard or very hard locks, and it's like, oh, no, that's just fine for you. So, I don't know. There's some weird stuff. Okay. Damn it. Okay. I like how I don't even try to check the other shops. I just immediately go into thievery. Yeah. There we go. Oh, a nerd room. Why not? Uh. Oh, actually, no. Hang on. I'm going to take that. Okay. Oh, wait, no. That had yarn. Okay, good. Okay. So now I just need the lettuce from somewhere. Which, again, I might also be able to get from here. You'll always get a fair deal here. I'm Nellowin. What can I get you? Yeah, my hand is itchy. Okay. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Huh. No, you don't have lettuce either. Does anyone have lettuce? I guess if you even had yarn. You did not, actually, huh? Let's see, what else do you have? Uh... Eh, not too special. Goodbye. Let's see, maybe again, just look at your stuff. I might be able to find something. Easy. 
Ramsey. Free. Afternoon. Hi, you're a creep. Don't worry, not stealing any of it, just looking. find some lettuce so that that is important um oh let's see maybe in the fighters guild I'm be able to find a bit of lettuce oh my god fucking hell okay there is definitely a fucked mod somewhere and i don't know which fucking mod it is it's an armor mod of some kind but i don't know which one Good skill books here. I hope there's no one up here. some fucking lettuce. Wait, I think that's lettuce. Okay, got everything. Okay, now from here I can head down and talk to Shu Gorath. Uh, let's see, up there. Oh yeah, it was an oblivion gate. <laughs> nice. I forgot those were open everywhere now. Whoa! Uh. Well, you're dead. Again, I kind of may have forgotten to uh, repair my sword. <laughs> Hello. Hit <laughs> hey, my mouse. Who are you? What do you want? I understand the Fighters Guild is hiring new members. Not bad work for some folks. Indeed. 
Take care. Uh, Ow! What the hell? What the imp? Yeah. A missile. Oh dear God. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh, nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, there we go. Get up. Okay, I do believe you're just normal imps. Don't you try to run from me? Uh, hi. Who are you? What? The Major's Guild runs more or less like it always did. But we lost quite a few members when the promise oh. of necromancy was banned. Okay. So you're a mage. Okay. Greetings. <laughs> yeah, my nose is itchy. Right. Let's see. Uh, right. I know I have the mini map, but it still makes me feel more comfortable to just have the map open just in case. Oh, the poor deer. What did he? What are you even attacking? Just attacking the. Oh, it, it's hitting something. What the fuck? I'm so confused. I don't know what the hell it was just hitting there, but uh, whatever it was, it was either really tiny or really invisible. <laughs> Is that it again, or is that a different one? <sighs> Hi! It was a nice looking city. God, my voice keeps cracking. Take a drink. Why? What the hell? Oh my god, it's a little wolf pup! Oh my god, it's a little wolf pup! I wanna go see the little wolf pup! Oh my god! Oh. I sadly had to. Okay, but what the fuck is this thing? Oh, a snake. Uh, okay, so the game crashed again, but I'm back to where I was. Moral of the story, don't hit a random snake you just see in the middle of nowhere. How do you do? He's you again. Okay, I also decided since that happened... Ooh, what the fuck, that's all new. At least I think it is. Quick save. But, uh, I was going to repair my sword, so now I am doing full damage again. Instead of doing, like... Five or six or whatever I was doing, I'm now doing nine. 
so always keep your stuff repaired. You can do a lot more with it. I don't know, is that new? That might not be. Again, I don't remember everything. It's been a long time, plus I don't always do all the like side dungeons and stuff. <laughs> I think I was going to cut through the woods. Go straight there. Oh, nice. So one of the other things about the shrine, too, is... I don't know how true this is exactly, but I keep seeing conflicting things on different websites saying that you either do or don't need the rain for the shrine, so either way, it helps. <laughs> I think it's, uh, I need to check the map. Okay. I should actually probably see it appear on my compass here pretty soon. I think I'm heading straight for it by going this way. Quick save again. Saw me and wants to fight me. Hey, my acrobatics increased. Ah, oh, more imps. Woo! Oh, it might be another mystical imp. Or not? I thought I saw something there. So it was just this thing. Boop! Nope. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I see the shrine down on the compass now, though. So I'm heading the right way. Yay, should go right trying. All right. Shara prophecy. You are to find a way to make the first two parts of the prophecy come true. I'll take care of the rest because it's the most fun. Now, run along! Will do. Okay. Yeah, more walking. But at least it's not too far this time. There's a... Uh, for that shrine, the original voice, I think, was much higher pitched. They had a different voice actor originally. And then once you get into the DLC, I think there are technically four voices for that shrine. Because there's the original. I think there's one for the current Cheogorath voice and before going into the DLC. And then there's one for after you go into the DLC and talk to him. 
And then the last one, I, uh, I think it's Haskell talks to you after you beat the DLC. Which is fun. <laughs> oh dear god. Also, I've noticed that the rain, again, kind of seems to be a little disjointed, which is odd, but it's not quite as bad as that one time in Kavach. Okay, I'm here. Quick save. Border watch. Hello. You're always welcome in Border Watch. Thank you. Welcome to Border Watch, stranger. You're welcome here. I am Rabasa, shaman of our people. Kashara prophecy. You know of the Kashara prophecy. How odd. Are you some sort of scholar? I'm a traveling scholar. Wonderful. I would be glad to tell you more. It has been told from our fathers and our fathers' fathers that our time in this place will come to an end. My great-great-great-grandfather, Kishara, foretold of a time when we would receive three signs from the gods, signaling the end of the world. Three signs. It's a matter of trust, and I don't trust you enough yet. Okay, Rebasa? I am Rebasa, shaman of the Khajiit of Border Watch. Rumors? There's islands in Nibbin Bay no one has visited in a hundred years. No telling what you'll find. Okay. All right. It's gonna brighten oh, a bit. Nice. For me, th these are the signs as they were foretold. First, there is the plague of vermin. It is said our town will be overrun by disease carrying creatures rats I would imagine horrible little things I always keep a powerful rat poison around in case I see one of the little monsters next is the plague of famine it is foretold that our livestock will fall dead in their fields with no apparent explanation we have but the six sheep in our pasture, and we make sure they are well tended. I'm gonna kill them. And the third sign? The plague of fear? Uh, I will not speak of this. Not to any outsider. I'll answer anything else I can. Is there something more? Perhaps you'd like to know more about Border Watch itself. Nope, I couldn't care less, honestly. Farewell. You are always welcome in Border Watch. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh. How do you do? With I just burped bonds, and it gave me a really bad ugh, nose burp. Oh, okay. I heard that the Kavach Guard is driving back the Daedra. Hang on. Maybe there's hope after all. Okay. okay. You think? So long. So Goodbye. Long. <laughs> Greetings, clan mates. Are you well? Not bad. Watch yourself around goblins. Some of the nastier ones will toss spells at you. All right. Heard any news from the other provinces? Sorry, give me just a moment. Nothing I'd like I'm to trying talk to about. figure out. Be seeing you. How to do this exactly? Okay, so. Hmm. 
Welcome to the Border Watch Inn. We don't get many visitors. Please, feel free to stay a while. Take a seat, or feel free to look around. We have a fine collection of cheeses here. Some of the rarest in all Tomriel. Tomriel? It's been a hobby of mine for years. I've collected cheeses from all over Tamriel. <laughs> Why'd you say Tamriel that time? What? Cheese. A more pungent cheese you'll never find. It looks smooth, but it stinks to the heavens and beyond. I keep it locked away tight. If I were to try cooking with it, the smell alone would draw rats for miles. It's a lovely conversation piece, though. What can I interest you in? Farewell. Okay. Quick save. See, I think everyone's getting ready to leave. So one of the things I can try is pickpocketing it from her. Ah, fuck. Okay. Fine, I'll go naked. Everyone out. Go on. In border watch. Everyone out. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Never mind then. This is gonna be a pain in the ass, but I gotta do it. Holy mother of fuck! All right. That works. You're always welcome in Border Watch. Okay. Come on here is a land of rugged wastes and high I think I need to Yeah, right there. I might swim more than you learn from the slaughter should have sitter the fight to shine TV in my hands. There we go. Not best. Okay, fine. Come on. Take your time, you stupid rats. There they are. No one cares about this just what yet. What happened huh? to Kavach could happen here. I don't... But no, here we go. I hear that those Oblivion gates are opening everywhere. They say the Legion is stretched to the limit across the Empire. <laughs> Have you heard any <laughs> word about the other provinces? Come on. Nothing I'd like to talk about. Take your time. Take care. You too. Gods protect us. What is happening here? You're all gonna die, that's what. Yeah, keep pressing that trying to get out. Goodbye. You've seen it. You've seen the first sign. Perhaps this is the beginning. Of the Kashara. Okay, Kashara prophecy. This certainly seems like one of the signs. It is unnatural to have this many rats gather in one place. I can only hope that the rat poison I have put down will take care of them all. It is a powerful poison, though, so it should do the trick. You too. All right. 
Now, time to murder a bunch of helpless sheep. Slowly but surely. The AI just has to figure out what it's doing. Come on. What the fuck is that one doing? Get over there. Go on. And they're all dead. Okay. to think. Head into the center of Border Watch and make sure to dock. And it's a Kishara. <laughs> the Kishara has come true. Doomed. We are all doomed. Perfect. The Kishara has come true. The Kashara has come true. Y'all don't really sound too phased by it. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna head back to the shrine of Sheogorath. Good work! Good times! Here's a little reward for your efforts. Can y'all stop pushing me? Back it's always business. you! Before I forget myself. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. I want to just quickly show this off. Or not. Okay, never mind. Okay, so the game crashed again, but I got it back, and I am now going to give the Wabajak to Martin, but I'm going to do that in the next episode. So, if you want to check out the unedited version of Let's Play, that'll be in the description below. If you want to keep watching the edited version, that'll also be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.